Awesome. Welcome to the live, you guys. If you have any questions, send them in the chat. We'll answer them at the end. And if you can't hear us, let us know. Yeah, so first thing, whenever you guys get here, you'll swipe in with your student ID. Um, how that works with your meal plans, you get swipes and dining dollars. So say you have a guest visiting, um, you can use those dining dollars to pay for that guest. It'll just be the door rate. Um, with your meal plans, meal plans will begin August 10th. You guys will, you got, you got, a misconception we have is that you can't go down on a plan. You guys actually have to that 11 day class to go down. So that gives you about three weeks to figure out what kind of eater you are. It is truly that only time you guys can go up in a plan and then go back down. So what we say is set an alarm on your phone if you want to test out a high plan and then go back down. And then throughout the semester, if you realize that that plan's not enough, then you know which plan to go up to. So you're not overdoing it and then you can't go back down. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely recommend trying that out. It's a good trial period for sure. Yes. And then we'll take you inside. So you'll swipe in here the register. And then when you first walk in, over here will be all your information. It's a good place to look every once in a while when you're in the dining hall. And I'll explain what's on the wall for you. So right here is where we have our campus map. We have over 25 locations, 25 restaurants on campus four coffee shops, two all-you-care-to-eat dining halls, one food hall. The only difference between a dining hall and a food hall is the food hall is, you, it's our 1021 food hall. You get a ticket, you get one meal, and you get access to all of our freebie stations. Our freebie stations include our salad bar, our fruit bar, our pantry, and our dessert bar. Um, and then you get the one meal. But here at our all-you-care-to-eat dining hall, it's truly unlimited. You can go back as many times as you want for food. Um, and then here is where we usually have our month at a glance. What the month at a glance is, it's all our events that you guys are welcome to come to with your meal plan. We have food, games, activities, and more. We'll definitely be posting those monthly. It'll give a small description of what each event is. And then also on these screens, it's advertising who we are, we're food on the hill. Give us a follow, we post all of our events. We do giveaways every Wednesday. We also do student takeovers every other Thursday. So if you want to take over our Instagram, we'd love to have you message us. Um, we also have Transact Mobile ordering. Skip the line, order ahead at places like Go Coffee, Pig Theory, Maple Grill, things like that. Ordering ahead was my go-to freshman year for coffee. <laughs> I know, so easy. And the Go Coffee during the semester starts, like it's so long. So definitely utilize mobile ordering. I use it every morning. Skip the line, super easy. You just order on the app and then scan your phone when it's ready at the pickup. Where you pick your food, your coffee, your food up at. I'm just going to go over this one real quick. So I actually used to be a campus dietitian. So we do have a campus dietitian on staff. And we have a new amazing dietitian start, starting soon. But they're here on campus to help students that have dietary restrictions, food allergies, anything like that. They are an advocate for you to help you figure out campus dining. You know, going from eating at home to moving on campus and having a meal plan, they're here for you. So definitely feel free if you have a dietary restriction, reach out to the campus dietitian at diet at uark.edu. Super simple, just D-I-E-T at uark.edu. But this is up here at the dining hall and they'll be at all of our dining halls. We can have resources, so our food allergy and special diets guide. It's like a one-stop shop for all the things you need to know when dining on campus with dietary restrictions, all the resources, just to make it easier for you guys. We want to take one thing off your plate, like let us help you. And then we have a vegetarian, vegan, and halal dining guide. So that's for those of you who uh, follow a vegan or vegetarian diet or a halal um, diet. So definitely scan this to get that if you follow one of those diets. And then lastly, we have a wellness dining guide, which is actually made based on food student feedback. So just getting a lot of students on like, I'm eating on campus and I'm having trouble finding some healthy options. Don't worry, we got you. We have our wellness dining guide, which is a one-stop shop for just building a healthy meal, healthy plate on campus, 
how to really get the most of your meal plan while also eating healthy. So definitely check these out if you see them at the beginning of our journey hauls. So we're gonna hop into the stations at Fulbright. So Fulbright Dining Hall has 10 different stations you can choose from. So as we mentioned earlier, this is an all you care to eat dining hall. So it's buffet style. You can eat however much you want. You can come back for seconds. You can come back one time. Really, the world is your oyster. Here. And for those just joining, we're in Fulbright Dining Hall right now. <laughs> Someone asked. <laughs> okay. So you'll pick up a plate and you have some silverware and you'll choose from the station. So I'm just going to go through the stations with you. So we're in between services right now, so food is not out right now. But during when you come on campus, when your meal plan starts on August 10th, so next Thursday, these, <laughs> these are the stations you can choose from. So just our first one, this is the grill. So we're going to have all of your favorite hamburgers, hot dogs. Um, sometimes we have some Philly cheesesteaks. It changes every day. Definitely download our Dine on Campus app to look ahead on what's going to be on the menu. That's a really helpful app to use just to see what options are out there before you swipe into the dining hall. Maybe you want to go to 1021 Food Hall instead, but changes every day. So this is the grill, and then we come over here. We have our grilled toppings. So we always have a cold salad and then toppings you can put on your burger or anything that we're having that day. And then most everyone's favorite, we have our pizza line. And this changes every day as well. We typically always have like your, you know, simple pizzas like a cheese pizza or pepperoni. But this is our pizza station. And I do want to point out to you at each station we have these things that can tell you what it is. So it's going to say what it is, but also what's the serving size. And if you want to know what the nutrition information is, it'll be on there too. And then another good station that get creative with is our make your own pasta station so we have all of these options you can choose from to make your own pasta and then they if you want to come over here they'll make it right there and you can pick it up here and then we also always have some pre-made pastas if you are in a rush and you don't feel like getting creative you can just grab those pre-made pastas so we do have a quick question while we're here someone asked about um, if they move in before August 10th, what should they do meal plan wise? <laughs> so we have the un Union of Food Court open. Okay. Meal plans aren't activated until August 10th, so you won't be able to use your meal plan until then. But there is options on campus that you can go to to get a meal. So the Union of Food Court has a couple locations open, so definitely check out that. Hill Coffee in the Union which is separated from the Union Food Court. That's a great option. They have really great sandwiches and really great breakfast options. But definitely check that out. Perfect, thank you. All right. All right, so this station over here is our special station. It's um, our food allergy friendly station. So it serves a menu every day that excludes the top nine allergens and gluten. But anyone can eat here. And yes. McKenna behind the camera <laughs> told us before this call this is her favorite station. So it's good. Even you wouldn't even know that it excludes all of those foods. Yes. It's just really yummy. And it's called the green table. I was gonna show this this sign real quick. Okay. Yeah, oh and if you want to show them this sign too, it shows what it avoids. So top nine allergens and beautiful. Yeah, so if you have um, any dietary restrictions and need to avoid those options, this is like the place for you. Obviously, you can eat at the other stations. You just need to ask our staff. That's what we're here for. We would be out of a job if it wasn't for you guys. So always feel free to ask someone if you have questions about like what's in something or how it was prepared. Don't worry about it. Just ask. We're, we're always here. So let's go to middle station. Yeah. Okay. We always have canned fruit available that you can grab. Um, this will always be here. And then dessert station is right here. Front and center. <laughs> yeah. On display. We're, we have amazing baker who makes the prettiest cakes. Like, look at that. That looks so good. Yeah. Um, these change it every day, too. So you're not going to get the same desserts every day. You're not going to get tired of it. It changes up. And honestly, Fulbright cookies are the best. That's true. 
Right here we have Comfort Station. This is going to be like your home style station where you're going to find all your like home comfort foods. So it changes every day too. Today we have chicken, broccoli, corn, ooh, and mac and cheese. That looks great. <laughs> and then I skipped that station over here, so we're just going to jump back around. You also have condiments and some bread over oh, here. and hot sauces. Ooh. Our chefs get fun and creative and they get like a lot of random hot sauces. So if you love to try different hot sauces, definitely check out this. That's really cool. Station. So you'll see some local ones too, which is cool. And then over here is our exhibition station. So this is just another place to get some options like a starch, veggie, and a protein. Changes every day. Same thing. You can always look at the top to see the options. Perfect. All right. So guys, we actually have more stations to show you. <laughs> just gonna hop over here. And just for orientation, we entered over there, and that's the wall that all the info we were talking about is on. I know it's, <laughs> it's a big circle. So this station is our salad and fruit bar. So it's always going to have yogurt and cottage cheese today and has fresh cut fruit that changes every day too. Today we have some pineapple and some um, melon. And then we do have toppings you can choose from. So we have cranberries, this changes to oh. <laughs> and granola. And then we have our salad bar, dressing, different choices of toppings for salads. The lettuce we have today is from our freight farm on campus, which is actually a freight that's been converted into a hydroponic farm. We, Dining Services manages that and we grow butterhead lettuce. Usually it goes to one of our retail locations called Where the Wild Rings Are, which, fun fact, that's my favorite place to eat. Um, but since that location isn't open during the summer, we gave, gave it to Fulbright Dining Hall and it's been on the line. Awesome. So, really good. And then we have our sandwich, make your own sandwich station. There's nothing in it oh. right now. There's nothing in it right now, but basically anything you can find at Subway or yeah. your favorite sandwich shop to make your own, mm -hmm. we have it. So it's a good place to eat. And then right when you come in, you'll see our soup station. We always have two different soups. And then we have these really good, um, like made in house chips. Very good. Check those out. They're so good. <laughs> and then there's more. This is like a breakfast essentials, I would say. Yeah. During but it is open all day. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's open all day. During the semesters, we're going to have a waffle station. Like, kind of like at a hotel where you can always come up and make a waffle. We have our breads right here. So bagels, breads. And then you can choose from like um, jelly, butter, and then we have peanut butter pieces. So fun fact, over at Dining Hall actually excludes peanuts from their menu. So this is a good place if you do have a peanut allergy to come to. If we do have peanut butter, it's going to be packaged. It's never going to be open in our back of house. And then we have our cereals, variety of cereals right here. Can they hear me okay? I think so. Okay. Let us know if you can't hear. And again, we are in Fulbright Dining Hall. Um, someone asked, yeah. let me scroll back and see. Um, are there options to take your food with you here? No, so when you come to Fulbright or Pomfret Dining Hall, you can't take your food to go. We do have the grab and roll if you're in a rush and you just need to grab something really quick. But if you're looking for an option, like a dining hall option, now you can take it to go, go to 1021 Food Hall. Yes. That uh, you can always take to go. Awesome, and they said we can't hear you, so you're okay. good. Okay, yay, awesome. Okay, right. so now we're gonna go to drinks. Well, also, real quick, there's ice cream. I yes. see people get ice cream all times a day, and there's even cones. Soft serve ice cream is kind of a rite of passage here. Yes, yes. always it soft is. serve ice cream. Yes. You probably can't ever like walk past here and not be tempted to. It's really <laughs> good. All right, now we're gonna go to the drinks. We have Coke products on campus, so um, that's where you can get a drink, and you'll always have these at any of your dining hall. And then also we have coffee and tea. And then if 
If you're dairy free or lactose intolerant, we do have options for you. It's going to be right here. You can open it up. We have a choice of oat milk, almond, lact lactose free milk. We got a variety. Usually they have soy too. Yes. Yeah. But during the summers, they might not keep it. Also, if there's something that you really like, like whether it's milk wise or even just like there's a dish you love to eat at home, we have a system where you can give us feedback. So on our website, it's dineoncampus.com backslash razorbacks. At the very end tab, it says more. You'll click that and it says feedback. Let us know. I mean, we're here for you. We want you to get the most out of your meal plan. So always feel free to give us feedback. All right, so that is all the stations. So 10 plus stations to choose from and it changes every day. So. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of dining space as well. Um, and even if it gets full in here, there's a whole extra room out there just for seating. Yeah, if you want some privacy. I also there. often see people um, study in here. So they might come in at 11 and stay until 1 if they don't have classes. <laughs> and it's a good space to plug your computer in and work a little bit and have, have your meal. Okay, so we, if you have questions, this is the time for that. Send them in the chat. I think we have already covered the couple that were already sent. If not, please send them again. Um, we want to answer any questions you have. Um, but while we're waiting, do you want to talk a little bit about the programs beginning or happening this year for the new on-campus students that they can attend? Yeah, so we have a back-to-school carnival on, in August. It will be at Pomfret Dining Hall. We love having events all around. So you'll see us at the Union, you'll see us at Pomfret. 1021 Food Hall, Fulbright. We have a big event coming in September, on September 21st. Keep your eyes out for that one. It's called Joyful. We have all different kinds of campus partners come. We have some campus partners come. We gave away a 98 pound pumpkin last year. <laughs> yes. So that was fun. I tried to um, pick it up and guess how much it weighed. It was very heavy. I think there was a competition. Yes, so we a so we have so many fun things like that. And it's all welcome. you guys are all welcome to come with your meal plan and things like that. We serve you a food tailored to what the event theme is. Um, for example, at our back to school carnival later in the month, we'll do like games like get so many M&Ms in a jar, um, a ring toss, things like that. So be sure to stay tuned. Keep an eye at our month at a glance. You can not only find those at all the dining halls, but you can also find them on our Instagram, Food on the Hill. We always love sponsoring those as well. Awesome. We have two questions. The yeah. first one was, can you remind us what the app is called in order to look at the Fulbright menu ahead of time? go to our Instagram, um, food on the hill underscore AR, give us a little follow there. We have a link tree. So you can just click the link tree and it'll take you right to the app. Beautiful. And another question was, do all dining halls open on 810? Yes. Yes, they do. Awesome. Um, I don't see any other questions. Oh, I had a fun fact. Oh, fun fact. Go for it. Yeah. So as you know, this is an all you care to eat dining hall. So it does make a lot of food. So you're probably wondering what the where the food goes if there's leftover after we close. So fun fact, we partner up with Razorback Food Recovery on campus and anything that we can donate, they pick up from us and they disperse it to their pantry and other community partners that um, <laughs> for food that for those that need it. Yeah. And then the food that we can't donate, whether it's like maybe an appeal from an onion that we can't use or say it's food that's on the line that people have been you know eating grabbing from we can't donate that but we compost all of that food so all that food that's left over it's going somewhere whether it's donated or being composted awesome. yeah. and so since yeah. 2016 we've actually donated over 250,000 pounds of food with our partnership with Racerback Recovery so it's been a great resource on campus 
someone asked, what is the difference between dining dollars and razor bucks? So with your meal plan, you guys get meal swipes and dining dollars. Dining yes. dollars are tax free. They are for the, they're for the whole semester. They can be reloaded in increments of 50, 75, and 100. We recommend if you're running low, the cashier should be able to tell you how, much, how many dining dollars you can track it at the register when you use your swipes. Mm -hmm. We recommend reloading when it's running low, not the day you run out. It takes around 24 hours to get back on your account. So you can't just use it then and there as you reload it. Um, but we are not affiliated with um, Razor Bucks, so we don't really answer questions about that. We recommend reaching out to the campus card office or um, their website for that information just because we're not as knowledgeable on that. But That's any dining dollar questions, we'd be happy to ask. And can you once again run through um, the dates that their meal plan can be changed? Someone asked that again. Yes. So you have until that 11 day class to change your meal plan. So if you move in a week early, you can test it out then. You have around three weeks. I believe it falls around the first week of September is the time you need to change it by. So you have a lot more time. When you hear that 11 day class, it seems really short, but I promise you it's a lot longer than you think. And yeah. again, if you want to start high and then go down, just set a reminder in your phone, even the week before it ends, so you have plenty of time to go back down if you need. But then now you know which one you want to jump up to if you want to try. And also, you're here for all of a week, so it's more than 11 days um, yes. total. And the but. first week you're here, you're gonna get a lot of free food because there's a lot of vendors, a lot of events happening. I promise it won't be like that the whole year. So you're gonna probably call your parents and be like, "Why did I get a bigger meal plan because I'm getting all this free food?" Yeah. It is really just for those events that we have that first week. So come October, November, maybe not as much free food, so then you'll want a higher meal plan. Yeah. Um, and then someone asked. Um, they know dining dollars, you can see on your receipt how much you have left. What about your swipes? How, where can they check to see how many swipes you have left? Yeah, so all that is through there as well. Um, you can check it and then they'll be able to tell you. Awesome. Any other questions? Oh, and then another thing about swipes. They reset every Sunday morning if you don't have the unlimited plan. Unlimited and an unlimited plus, you don't have to count how many swipes. You have to say, oh, how many meals do I have left? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just a really good part of the unlimited. One thing I would recommend too, um, I don't know if you can hear, hear me, but one thing I would recommend too is really utilizing meal swipes during those times that restaurants can take them. So during certain times of the day, so you can use a meal swipe at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but just at participating locations. So if you're creating Chick-fil-A, they don't have, they don't, Accept meal swipes during lunch, but you can do it at dinner. So just wait for dinner. Yeah. Um, so definitely utilize that, save you some money that way. And then also, dining dollars don't forget you have them. You can use that, them at any food on the location. So it's a really great place if you want to add on to your meal swipe meal at a restaurant, or say you're just craving some coffee and you want to go to Hill Coffee and get some some coffee. You can use your dining dollars. They're also tax free, so you're going to save a little bit of money rather than using your own money and then well, money on your debit card. Yeah. So just don't forget you have those because once the semester ends, you lose them. So just make sure that you use them before the semester ends. Yes, and make sure you know, as you said, the dining hall yeah. hours because they are different depending on what dining hall um, you're at. And the meal plans, once again, start the 10th. Um, um, meal swipe times, that will be also on the Dine On Campus app. We also have it on our Instagram as well. So when you're going during that meal swipe time, what that'll get you is it'll get you a combo meal. For example, at Chick-fil-A during swipe time, you'll get chicken nuggets, fries, drink, sandwich, fries, drink, any combo meal on the menu. Um, the dining dollars are really just there to upgrade that meal. So if you want a bigger fry, a bigger drink, a dessert, maybe a milkshake, you just have to pay the extra to upgrade it instead of paying using all those dining dollars to pay for that meal. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. This was York Home Live for Campus Dining. Yes. Any, any last words? <laughs> Can't wait to have you. Yeah. I'm so excited to see some fresh new faces on campus. And if you have any questions, always feel free to follow us on our, on our social media. So we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Am I missing any? No, I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> you can always message us, direct message us on there, or you can provide that, go on our website and give that feedback. Feel free to reach out. We're here for you. We can't wait to have you on campus. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.